The Ten Commandments, also known as the Decalogue, are a set of biblical principles relating to ethics and worship that play a fundamental role in Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. They are found in the Bible, in the books of Exodus chapter 20 verses 1 to 17 and Deuteronomy chapter 5 verses 4 to 21 here is a detailed explanation of each commandment. First commandment, I am the Lord your God. You shall have no other gods before me. This commandment emphasizes the monotheistic nature of the Abrahamic religions. It asserts that the worship of Yahweh, the God of Israel, is paramount and that no other gods should be placed before him. This commandment establishes the exclusivity of God and condemns the worship of idols or other deities. It forms the foundation of the relationship between God and his people, demanding loyalty and exclusive devotion. Second commandment. You shall not make for yourself a carved image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or on the earth beneath or in the water under the earth. This commandment forbids the creation and worship of idols. It extends the first commandment by prohibiting not just the worship of other gods, but also the creation of physical representations of any deity. This was intended to prevent the Israelites from adopting the idolatrous practices of surrounding nations, which often involve the worship of gods represented by statues and images. Third commandment, you shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. Taking God's name in vain means using it in a disrespectful or irreverent manner. This includes swearing, false oaths, blasphemy, and using God's name frivolously. The commandment underscores the importance of respecting and honoring God's name, recognizing its sacredness and the power it holds. Fourth commandment, honor the Sabbath, is dedicating the day to rest and spiritual reflection on the last day of week, which is Saturday. It commemorates God's rest after the creation of the world and serves as a sign of the covenant between God and Israel. It emphasizes the importance of taking time to rest and focus on spiritual matters. Fifth commandment, honor your father and your mother. This commandment highlights the importance of family structure and respect for parental authority. Honoring parents involves respecting, obeying, and caring for them. In ancient Israel, this commandment also ensured the well-being of elderly parents who depended on their children for support. It reinforces the significance of family in maintaining social stability and passing down religious and cultural traditions. And it carries with an extra blessing that thou shalt live long on the earth. Sixth commandment, you shall not murder. This commandment prohibits the unlawful taking of human life. It underscores the sanctity of life and the belief that humans are made in the image of God. Murder is seen as a grave sin not only because it ends a life, but also because it disrupts the moral and social order established by God. This commandment forms the basis for many legal and moral systems prohibiting against killing. Seventh commandment, you shall not commit adultery. Adultery refers to sexual relations between a married person and someone who is not their spouse. This commandment protects the sanctity of marriage and the family unit. Adultery is seen as a betrayal of trust and a violation of the marital covenant, which is intended to be a lifelong, exclusive bond. This commandment also underscores the importance of faithfulness and integrity in personal relationships. Eighth commandment, you shall not steal. Stealing involves taking someone else's property without permission. This commandment upholds the rights to personal property and the importance of honesty and respect for others' possessions. It promotes trust within the community by affirming that individuals should respect each other's belongings and work honestly for what they need. Ninth commandment, you shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. This commandment prohibits lying or giving false testimony, especially in legal proceedings. Bearing false witness can unjustly harm someone's reputation or lead to wrongful punishment. It upholds the value of truthfulness and justice, which are essential for maintaining trust and order in society. It also implies a broader ethical obligation to honesty in all dealings. Tenth commandment, you shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife, or his male servant, or his female servant, or his ox, or his donkey, or anything that is your neighbor's. Coveting involves an unhealthy desire for something that belongs to someone else. This commandment addresses internal thoughts and desires warning against envy and greed. Unlike the other commandments, which focus on actions, this one targets the intention behind actions. It teaches contentment and gratitude for one's own blessings, promoting a just and harmonious community by discouraging the root causes of theft, adultery, and other sins. In conclusion, the Ten Commandments collectively form a moral and ethical foundation that influences various aspects of life, including religion, family, community, and justice. They emphasize the worship of one God, respect for His name, observance of holy times, and the importance of respecting and treating others with dignity and fairness. 
These commandments have been central to Jewish and Christian ethical teachings and have had a profound impact on the development of Western legal and moral systems.